Tonight and all new at 11, Charlotte City Council voting yes on new redistricting plans, but residents in the Hidden Valley neighborhood of Northeast Charlotte are shouting not so fast. Now it's time for us to stand up, That's right. stand up mm -hmm. and show our voice. They're now taking their concerns to the courts. Neighbors claiming the new district map is racially divisive and an attempt at gerrymandering. WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper shares their message. Members of Charlotte City Council say relocating 30,000 residents to different voting districts is no easy task, but those who are actually affected by the change say they still want to have their vote and their voices properly recognized. They're loud and they're proud. And these post-it notes are just part of their message. Residents of Hidden Valley dressed in unusual attire for a council meeting but for a purpose. We are in smogs today because our politicians are contaminated with corruption and we are going in here to make a statement tonight. Speaking out against what they call poor redistricting plans, where three of the four options considered would reassign those who live in Hidden Valley, a predominantly African-American community from District 4 to District 1. We don't match the community that we're being forced into. They call the redistricting change gerrymandering and racially divisive. Tonight we say no more. No more. But the majority of city council see things much differently. The recommended plan also increases the black vote by 7% and the Democratic vote by 5% in District 1. This plan could actually strengthen our influence on the dais and in the city as black voters. But out of 10 yes votes from council, there was a single no. The committee, staff, consultants have all agreed they did not consider issues of equity in our approach. That is regrettable. Yet still not enough to stop the redistricting approval. Now Hidden Valley neighbors say they plan to take their voice to the ballot. Election time? That's right. We're organizing. That's right. And you have we got to get out of the way. That's right. That's See right. you at the polls. And in the courtroom, too. And that lawsuit has already been officially filed in federal court, but no word yet on when it might move forward to be heard before a judge. Reporting from the Charlotte Mecklenburg Government Center, Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.